What is up Midway Mayhem fans? This is Dan and I am at a new place today, Six Flags America. In fact, I have never been here before. We're gonna check out all the rides, attractions, and more. Let's go. Right off the bat, I see something that makes me very happy. They have a specific pass holder and re-entry lane as opposed to the regular one. So you can just go right here, and get right in. So far, so good. Literally a less than two minute wait. And we're now inside the park. And this place is very, very pretty, just right off the bat. Also right off the bat, they are hitting you with new stuff. We have new for 2017 fudge, candy apples, caramel apples, and novelty candy at the Coaster Candy Place. I like it. I know it's early in our video, but from what I'm seeing just so far, this park is beautiful. It's got trees everywhere. It's a nice day. It's not very hot. And crowds seem to be pretty light. We have this neat little statue here. And fountains. Oh yeah, the park has a wave swinger known as the Flying Carousel. And most parks have these, and I'm glad Six Flags America does as well. The first real themed area that we're headed into is Mardi Gras. And I see Raging Cajun and a couple of awesome rides like the Flyers. I'm excited. Now, Raging Cajun is a spinning wild mouse, and you can find these all over. And this one's pretty similar to all the other styles too. You go around the course, very tight, compact turns, and then at some point, right about, oh, there, you start to spin. Are you guys ready to spin? Spin! Alrighty guys, so we just got off our very first roller coaster, Ragin' Cajun. And on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give that a 7.5 to an 8. It's not the biggest, tallest, fastest ride you'll ever do. It's uh, fairly smooth, I can say. There's a couple times where you'll jolt around just a little bit. Kids are going to love it though. Grandma should still be able to enjoy it. And uh, we're on our way to the next coaster. Next up on the list of roller coasters is the Wild One, which is celebrating its 100th year anniversary. Happy birthday, Wild One. Let's go catch a ride. is all done and scale of one to ten for that one I give it an eight to an eight and a half I know you're gonna think I'm crazy considering I'm not a huge fan of wooden coasters but it didn't beat me around all that much I sat near the front good airtime good speed 
good ride. The park does have a couple upcharge attractions, and one of them is called the Big Easy Speedway, and we've got go-karts. So if you feel the need for speed, you can buy a ticket and race on the track. In case you are interested in knowing the prices for the Big Easy Speedway, we have single $8, double 10, all day is 20, and get this, you can do all season for 30 bucks. Well, I said we had some flyers here, and it's called the French Quarter Flyers. So just like some of the other theme parks around the world, they have them here and you can fly them. And so far from what I've seen, people are able to actually get these whipping pretty good too. If drop towers are your thing, well, Six Flags America has you covered. We have something called Voodoo Drop. If you've been watching our videos long enough, you know I like a good drop tower, and that one right there, that one's a good drop tower. You do not start hitting the brakes until you're halfway down the tower and you're still hauling the mail all the way down. Good weightless feeling right off the top. Scale of one to 10, I would easily give this one an eight and a half to a nine. Perhaps you're a fan of Larson Loopers. We have one here. And this one is called the Bourbon Street Fireball. Normally when I go to theme parks, I try to eat at a Panda Express or something like that, and they have something very similar, chopsticks. Very nice, so we're gonna be able to get some eats. Well, if the place is called chopsticks, I guess you have to eat with chopsticks, and the food itself is very, very tasty. Lots of flavor, uh, not dry in the least, and uh, scale of one to 10, I would give it like a nine and a half. This is excellent, and I'm gonna enjoy it. Apocalypse, which is a B&M stand-up coaster, and that's next. Not bad on the theming department over here as we have a lot of wreckage it looks like from helicopters, planes, things like that. It's kind of appropriate if the ride is called Apocalypse. the last stand and in my opinion that is a great B&M stand-up coaster it's one of the older ones and it does have a little bit of head banging not too bad though nothing that's gonna give you a headache scale of 1 to 10 I would give this one easily probably an eight and a half to maybe a nine and uh, I really enjoyed it good ride here time to enter Gotham City and see some of the DC superheroes. Gotham City has lots and lots of places to eat, games, and upcharge attractions. And check this out, we have some characters here as well. Yosemite Sam and Wile E. Coyote. What's up guys, how you doing? Good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> no cameras, no paparazzi. And who doesn't love a Batmobile? Now my question is, does it have a Hemi? Oh yeah, we got a Gravitron style right here. Riddle me this which is themed to the Riddler. You spin around and around and it puts you in your seat. A little bit closer view now of Daredevil Dive, which again is that upcharge attraction. It's one of those that you pull the ripcord and you go flying. Prices aren't bad. A single flight is $15, double flight is $25, and a triple is $30. This guy looks like he is about ready to fly. And away he goes. Superman. It is a great thing to see that they have an awesome water right here called the Penguin's Blizzard River. And on a hot day, which it is not today, it would be a great way to cool off.
Joker's Jinx, which is a premier launch roller coaster, and it's like a spaghetti bowl. Basically, you get launched up into this mess of track and supports, and you're twisting, turning the entire way, and it has inversions. Let's go give it a try. a review of Joker's Jinx. Scale of 1 to 10, I would give this one an 8.5 to an 8. And as you saw from the video, I had a lot of fun. Good launch, good G-forces, and of the four inversions, they're not too bad. Kids and grandma are going to be able to enjoy it. The next roller coaster here is known as Batwing, and it's a Vacoma flying roller coaster. And unfortunately, I am not going to be riding, because if you guys know me, I get violently sick on these kinds of rides. I'll still show it to you. Let's head over there. So unfortunately, like I said, I will not be doing Batwing because the Vacoma Flyers, they just get me sick. I don't know what it is about them and I don't want to take a chance at ruining the day. Now, for some people, they love it. They think it's a great experience, but unfortunately, not my cup of tea. Now, you see that big ride over there? That is Superman and that is something I've been waiting for years to get a chance to ride on. And before we get there, we have to walk through Whistle Stop Park, which used to be Thomastown, like Thomas the Tank Engine but uh, it's been converted over since uh, that is no longer part of their licensing. Well, isn't this just cute? A little train here for the kids. Whistle Stop Park Whirlybirds is a helicopter style ride for kids. They go up and down as it spins. We've got just a couple attractions here. Overall, the area looks very nice. We have a kids play area with slides and water over there. Great during the hot days. 
And then here's the train depot over here. Whistle Stop Bus Company is a magic carpet style ride. Kids can enjoy, it gives a little bit of air time. Goes up, down, and around. Another little kids train ride here. Goes around this course. So of course we had Voodoo Drop, and we have something for the kids as well. Sky Jumper, little mini tower. Something also kind of neat to point out right here with Sky Jumper is we have Wonder Woman's Lasso of Truth right behind it. So as kids are on this, they can look up and say, hey, that's next. Yes, finally, Superman Ride of Steel. <laughs> Now this is kind of cool, I don't know if it's intentional or not, but there are vines growing up the supports on Superman here. Eventually this entire thing could end up being green. Okay, so we just got off of Superman Ride of Steel, and what an amazing roller coaster. Easily the best one here at Six Flags America. Scale of one to 10, I would give it a nine and a half. Amazing speed, amazing G-forces, and amazing airtime. In fact, there were a couple times where I was ejected out of the seat. Awesome, awesome ride. I'm gonna go again right now. A lot of the Six Flags parks have a boat ride that does a big splash, and Shipwreck Falls is just that ride. Something tells me you get a little soaked on this ride. With all the exciting stuff with roller coasters and other rides, let's not forget they do have Hurricane Harbor. So if you want a water park, they have that as well. 
Next coaster on the list is this bad boy called Roar. done and on a scale of one to ten I would give that one a solid eight to an eight and a half I don't know if it's the carpenters here or what but the rides are actually pretty smooth for wooden coasters and you know I'm not a huge fan of them good g-forces good speed good airtime nothing I can really fault about it the only thing I can say is I know Discovery Kingdom had theirs converted into an RMC I hope this one gets it too yes we have teacups and look how fast these things are going not to mention you can spin them like crazy too. But this thing is hauling the mail. The next area we are heading into now is Looney Tunes Movie Town, which is the kids area. They have the great race over here, which is a cars ride. And it's the old time cars too. These things look awesome. You gotta see them. Gas powered and all. Great. Of course we do have a carousel over here. On the ground there's a whole bunch of like music notes, things like that. There's bugs right there. Of course, we have the Great Chase, which is a roller coaster. It's a kiddie coaster, but it's still a coaster. And over this way, we have the Yosemite Sam's Hollywood Flight School, which they have little airplanes over here. They spin around and around. See, like that right over there. They have Pepe Le Pew's Tea Party, so they're mini teacups. For the little ones, they're not as crazy as the ones that are over there. Let's see what else they have. Petunia's Paradise, which is another kid's ride over here. It's a train ride. It goes round and round and round. More theming. Looney Tunes Movie Town. Granny's House. Even though there's really nothing there, but anyway. They do have a kids club stage. Which is funny because they're going to have a new show this year. So they're going to have new entertainment on the stage right here. Dance party I see. Sylvester's Pounce and Bounce. Which is the s, &S Frog Hopper style. And then there's a really big play area right here called Looney Tunes Prop Warehouse. And I know some of the other Six Flags have had them like uh, Magic Mountain. But it's a giant play area. With all sorts of like balls that fly around. Neat stuff. Last couple of kids rides over here, we have Around the World in 80 Seconds, which is a balloon race style ride. It goes around and around in circles. Apparently kids like that because there's another one over here. Taz's Film Works, and this just basically is a mini way swinger. Yes, absolutely love this. We have touch screen maps here at Six Flags America. So of course you can find out where all the different attractions are, what the height requirements, if they take flash pass and all that. It's very neat, love them. We're now heading over towards Coyote Creek, which is where Mind Eraser is.
Well, we just did the mind eraser and well, it's pretty fitting for the name. My head banged around quite a bit and uh, no, no concussions, no memory loss or anything else like that. But scale of one to 10, ouch. I would give this maybe a six, six and a half, something like that. It's a little bit too rough in my opinion. And they had the VR headsets on it right now, but I can honestly say today is the last day and they're not gonna be doing any more. That's a good thing in my opinion because it slowed down operations quite a bit, but overall, it's still a ride here, it's something to do. And who doesn't love bumper cars? They have the Coyote Creek crazy cars here. I know some of our subscribers gotta be Rapids fans. Well, they have one here. And something tells me on this Rapids ride, you get pretty soaked. And if you don't, well, guess what? They have quarter canisters here for water blasters. Capital Railways is the park's train and it goes around very slowly, a nice little tour. And grandma can ride, kids can ride, teenagers, doesn't matter, this is a great attraction for all. Yay for more spinning rides. We have Pirate's Flight, those are kinda neat. Looks like little pirate ships spinning round and round. And like always, can't call yourself an amusement park without a pirate ship, they have one. Of course, we have a Scrambler, and this one is just like all the other ones around the world. Still a decent ride. Oh. If you have a fellow ride, easy, put your hands up, hands up, if you have a fellow ride, hands up, hands up. Here at the Stunt Show Arena, I was told Sword of Destiny is a really good show. There's three different show times. Let's check it out. Oh, Denise, it's okay, I'm all right. to do this at other parks and it's always something special when you are the last guest out well guys that is going to do it for our tour and review video here from six flags america and i gotta say i am pleasantly surprised i have heard some very bad horror stories over the last couple years and scale of one to ten i would say this place is easily an eight and a half or a nine it's one of the smaller six flags parks but I truly believe that the management that has come in over the last couple years is really turning this place around this was my first visit but again I didn't have anything that I can fault about it. The ground is clean over here. Staff was incredibly nice. The rides were excellent. Food was wonderful. I mean, literally, there's nothing I can fault. I do have to say thank you so much to the public relations team for allowing us to film on the rides, legal POVs. And uh, that means a lot to us, so thank you so much. And uh, we're gonna have many more updates from here. So if you like what we do, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at Midway Mayhem. And I will see you out on the Midway.